So here I have some words, numbered one to five. These are mostly words we use every day, as you can see. Hello, hi. You use hello, hi almost every day. The second one is you. Then there is good. There is goodbye. There is teacher. These are words you use every day, like almost every day. So the first one is me, how. And you see that I wrote ni hao or nin hao. The stroke there means you can say ni hao or nin hao. And they both mean hello. Now, you know that in English, you is you. But in some languages, there is a way you say you when you are talking to somebody who is your, say, age grade or someone you are very familiar with or somebody you're younger than. And there is a way you say you when you're talking to somebody who is older or someone you're not familiar with. We have that in a lot of languages. Uh, if you are learning French, you would have uh, been taught that to say you in an informal way is tu, and then to say it in a formal way is vous. You know, we have that in many languages. But in English, you is you, whether the person is 100 years old or the person is five years old. So, ni is the informal way of saying you in Chinese. Nin is formal. One is respectful. And that doesn't mean the other is not respectful. The other is just informal. Something you can use freely with anyone who you are very close to. How on his own means good. How means good. But when you say ni and how together, it doesn't mean you good. It means hello or hi. When you put nin and how together, it means hello, hi. It doesn't mean you good. When you put the two of them together like that, you're saying something else. You're saying hello, you're saying hi. Ni hao is a generally accepted salutation in Chinese. The Chinese actually have salutations for good morning, good afternoon, good evening. But to be very honest with you, till today, I have not heard a Chinese native use them. And all the times I used those salutations, the kind of reaction I got was like, is that not too much? Why are you using those salutations? So it's like the ni hao, nin hao is what goes for, you know, like any time and with anyone. Ni hao, nin hao, if you want to be formal or I wouldn't say respectful so that it doesn't sound like the other one is not respectful. If you want to be formal, it's nin hao. The fourth one here is zai jian. This is how to say see you again or goodbye. Zai means again. Jian is to see, to see or to meet. So when you say zai jian, you're saying see you again or we'll meet again. The fifth one here is lao shi. Lao shi means teacher. So when you want to say hello teacher, hi teacher, you say lao shi hao, lao shi hao. At the beginning, I said ni hao is a generally accepted salutation. You can say it to anybody. You can tell a president ni hao. You can tell anybody, any dignitary, any elderly person, any anybody at all, a stranger, someone you don't know, somebody that you're not familiar with, someone who is much older than you are. You can tell the person hello. But if you say it in English, it sounds disrespectful. When you see an elderly person, let's say you are a child of 10 and you see an elderly person, say 50, 60 year old, and you say, hi, hello. You know, it sounds rude if it is here. But ni hao, nin hao in Chinese is the most respectful salutation you can think of. Ni hao goes for every time and for every occasion. And now let's talk about this part of the board, Chinese tones. If you look very well, you will see the tones on some of the alphabets, on some of the letters. You can see this one. You can see this one here that looks like V. You can see it here. You can see this one. You can see this one. I noticed that all the tones that we have in Chinese language are here. So I decided to talk about them here. The first tone is flat tone. You know, it is the tones that determine how you pronounce the words here i said this is lao shi lao shi means teacher 
I said Lao Shi because this is the falling and rising tone. It falls and rises. This is the flat tone. And that was why I went Shi here. Lao Shi. The first tone is flat. This is the falling and rising tone, which we call the third tone. They have their Chinese names, but we are not going into that now. This is Tai Jian. So why didn't I say Tai Jian? Because the tones here are different, you can see. So here, I listed them to explain them better. First tone or the flat tone, you can see it. This is, this is it, you know, that just goes flat on the letter. Look at it here. On the Lao Shi, this is the second tone, and that is also called rising tone. You see it, it went up, it rose, so that is why it's called rising tone. And see where it is here on Nin, Nin, like you are raising your voice, Nin, Nin, because the tone on it is the rising tone, the third tone that we also call falling and rising tone. Look at it. It looks like V because this one is falling and then it is rising again. Like you have here, Lao. On the A, it falls and rises. So it is the A that you're going to pronounce like, uh, on the A, it is falling and rising. So it is the A you're going to pronounce like you're going down and coming up. Lao, Lao. You have to first of all note the tone on which the letter is before you pronounce it accordingly, before you pronounce it according to the tone. So this is the falling and rising tone. We have it on how, that is why this is ni how or nin how, how, you know, it goes down and goes up again, falling, rising, how, and that is it here. Uh, yes, we also have it on the ni, ni is pronounced ni and um, here is the fourth tone which is the falling tone now look at the falling tone you see it is falling see the rising tone where is that rising tone yes see the rising tone is going up and then the falling tone goes like this is coming down look at it so when you're saying this you say it like you are dropping it you know like you're dropping the sound and that is why this is Tai Jian. You can see the two tones here are the falling tones. Tai Jian. Tai Jian. And not the flat tone. If it is the flat tone that you have here, it will be Tai. Did you get the difference? But because it is the fourth tone, it is Tai. And here is also the fourth tone. Jian. Tai Jian. That is the falling tone for you. So I want you to write this on your notes, the way I put it here. First tone, stroke flat tone. Second tone, stroke rising tone. Third tone, stroke falling and rising tone. Fourth tone, stroke falling tone. And you are also going to copy this. Copy every one of these words in your notebook because you're going to be using them often. When you want to tell your teacher, um, hi teacher, hello teacher, you say lao shi hao. When you want to say goodbye, like I'm going to tell you goodbye very soon because we have come to the end of this class. When you want to say goodbye, you say Zai Jian. If you're telling your friends goodbye or you are telling anybody goodbye, whether it's on the phone or anywhere, it is Zai Jian. Then how is good. Of course, you know how. You're going to be using it a lot. And Ni Nin means you. Ni Hao or Nin Hao means hello or hi. And on that note, I am going to say goodbye. I will see you again on the next class where we are going to talk about tones. I have not taught you about tones. I just wanted to introduce you to them, explain why you have these tones here in case you are wondering, and also tell you their names. In our next class, we're going to try out some words with tones on them, all the tones on them, and we practice them. So till then, it is what how do you say goodbye zai jian